here. Well, we, we expect those strong winds for several hours to come, I would say. I mean so it is 6 p.m. here on Sunday, and the hurricane is on its way. Right now, all we are experiencing in Orlando is rain. Nothing too crazy right now, but hopefully nothing crazier will happen. I'll keep you updated. And there's our patio furniture all in here. It's like a zoo. We're very bored. Been sitting on our phones all day. Gotta charge them up, so just in case we lose power. Oh, we have our radio and our flashlight ready. Prinny, say hi, Prinny. Penny says hello guys. It's seven o'clock now, an hour later, and we have a tornado warning. p.m. now me and my mom have arranged a, a bed in the hallway because they say the safest place to sleep right now is either in a hallway or in a room with no windows Brady you like the bed we made she's like what the heck is going on guys why are you sleeping in the hallway Brady this isn't a pee pee spot okay <laughs> Be very crowded tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, all the dogs. Oh, Aw, Keila, you're taking my sleeping spot, but it's okay, we can cuddle. Are you guys gonna be hurricane buddies? We should make them all. Oh, we should put their beds right here. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll move their beds probably down here so they can have a place to sleep because they think they're taking my spot. My dad's crazy, he's laying in the bedroom on the bed. He, this doesn't even phase him. So what we did was we put one blanket down, then we used my like duvet comforter, then we put these two fluffy blankets over it. So it's kind of comfortable. It does the job. It is 8.30 now, we're kind of hunkered down. <laughs> I think we're getting ready for the apocalypse over here. Yeah, Not a hurricane. Day. All we need is our snacks. Oh, I think I eat enough. Our pups are sleeping. Ke you can't even see Keela. <laughs> she blends in with her bed. <laughs> she literally does. Keela's right here. <laughs> friend is over there. Oh, yeah, Mr. Friend. Say hi, friend. Friend. Yeah. They said it's not going to get bad here until between 12 a.m. and 3 a.m. Of course, in the middle of the night where you need to sleep and probably won't sleep. The power is not out yet. The lights were flickering. <laughs> every little sound. I know, every sound that gets made, we're like, what was that, what's that? All right, give you an update later. One more thing. We got a little friend on our ceiling up here. See if you can see him. He's hunkering down with us too. A little gecko. Alright, you stay safe up there. Don't fall on me while I'm trying to lay down or sleep. Oh my god. Okay, come back in. Wait, I want to go out. We're outside and it's the hurricane! It's not even raining. I feel like I'm a weather woman. What? Okay. That was cool, never done that before. Branches have fallen. Our fence in the backyard fell down. 
here. Well, we, we, we can expect those strong winds for several hours to come, I would say. I mean, I, I heard Tom Terry talk about it's 7, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. Those strong winds are going to continue. I think it just tells you I took a how little nap. powerful, how immense. No trees are down is. yet. Our whole it's, back it's, fence it's, it's is down now. One, right? Lots of branches. One. So, branches. so yeah. apparently the hurricane yeah. now I mean, the, the doesn't have like a hole. It just, the whole like diminished and it's just wind. Winds blowing up north now. So we'll see what the front. I'm like curious to see what it looks like when the sun's out. Eight ten in the morning. We lost our power in the middle of the night. There's still still really big gusts of wind coming in, and this is what my backyard looks like. They lost their whole fence, including even over there. This is still all good, just a lot of debris. You can still see the gusts of wind coming in. Dogs are kind of freaking out. No trees fell. That's a good sign. Not yet, anyway. I know, there's so gusts of wind, but no trees go. And then this is what the front of my house looks like. We, we got this huge branch right here that fell in our courtyard. Just branches everywhere. We survived Hurricane Irma. Car. I don't know if I said earlier that I parked my car in a parking garage because I don't have a garage at my house to park it in. Well, I do, but it's full of stuff. So now I'll just show you guys some of the debris that's around the city. finally gone from Florida. Uh, she did some damage, but not as bad as it could have been. So I'm really thankful and blessed for that. Our house is perfectly fine. Just a fence fell down, just minor things. And got to pick up lots of branches. I think my mom already did that. She's the best. I'm just really thankful that everyone in my family is okay. Everyone from my family down south is okay. I'm praying for the people that really got hit by Irma, like the Virgin Islands, the Keys, even like down south Florida. I don't wish a hurricane upon anyone or any natural disaster. They're scary. The eye ended up coming right through Orlando and there, I mean, it was a category one by the time it got to us. It still had strong gusts of winds. It was scary, but we managed through it and I finally got power back today. Today is Tuesday, by the way. So I had no power Sunday night, all day yesterday, and then finally got it back today. But hey, it could have been worse. It could have been like another day or a week or whatever. My aunt ended up having a huge branch go through her roof and it obviously made a hole in her ceiling and and water leakage happened um, but she's okay and everything will be okay I don't know I'm really exhausted now I feel like I haven't gotten like a full good sleep in two days and I can't even imagine what other people are feeling like that really got destroyed by Irma like I can't even imagine it's so sad Thank you guys for watching so much and thank you, thank you for sending prayers to me and my family and everyone else. It's really nice to see that people genuinely care about your well-being. I will see you guys on Sunday. Bye! Yeah, did you fart? No! Oh my god! <laughs>